morning, everyone. I'm on time today. Just want to let you know that fact. Hello, Norma. Good to see you. You're my first commenter today. Thank you so much for that. I'm going to try and finish up my coffee before I get really rolling here. It's a rather nice day here in Minnesota. All that horribly cold weather has kind of moved out, and so we've got some nicer weather coming. I'm going to adjust the camera just a sec. All right, so we are pretty much ready to get started. My name is Kay Kaltoff, and welcome. This is a stamp and chat with Kay, and we are going to be exploring a really cool card that is going to have kind of a cool cut on it to make a neat little front opening. So you'll see how I do all of that because I'm going to cut it before your very eyes with this. It'll be fun. All right, so we have some more watchers. Welcome, Jean. Welcome, Karen. Hi, Judy. It's good to have you all here. You know, of course, that I will do a drawing and it won't be until, oh, we're going to be out of town for a while. So I don't think I'm going to actually do a Facebook Live next week on Tuesday. I'll probably do the drawing on Tuesday, but that will be, um, well, you know what? Yeah, I won't be around. I will not be doing the drawing on until late Tuesday. So don't look for it for a while. And I won't be doing a, a Facebook Live on Tuesday. So just as I didn't do one this Tuesday, my husband and I went to our cabin and we were having so much fun snowmobiling, <laughs> we decided not to come home. We stayed an extra day. It was super fun. All right. Oh, Jean's telling me we can thank North Dakota for the nice weather. Well, that's kind of odd. Usually we're not thanking you for nice weather, but we will thank you. Thank you. Um, we're excited. We're excited to have a little bit warmer weather. I don't think it's going to affect the snowpack too much, but unless it keeps up, and it could do that because spring is on the way. But anyway, we're going to be watching some basketball this weekend and um, just have lots of plans. So, all right. Well, I tell you what, we're going to we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you a card I got in the mail, and it's a super cute one, and it comes from one of our watchers, and this is from Kathy Kirchner. She actually is one of my big fans of the product shares that I do every time a new catalog comes out from Stampin' Up. I do ribbon shares, paper shares, embellishment shares, and Kathy loves it. She loves getting the ribbon and the paper. And so she made a card, and it's so pretty, and it was just a thank you card. I mean, I can't believe it. Here I am asking her for money, and she's sending me a thank you. So it's, she's a pretty sweet gal. So here is the card. Let me show it to you. Isn't that nice? And it's got a little uh, cute fold on the front, and then it's got a little pocket, so you can take the little, the little sentiment here out of the pocket, and then you can write more on here. And of course, she didn't write on there because she wanted me to be able to reuse the card if I wanted to. But thank you so much to Kathy Kirchner. This is so cute. I love it. So thank you again. I really appreciate it. I just love getting mail. And of course, it really is a day brightener. So those of you that do make cards, you know, don't just let them sit in your house. Put them in the mailbox. Make somebody stay. That's what I do with a lot of my cards. All right. So we are going to get started here. I'm just going to show you the card we're making. I'm going to grab it. It looks like this. And it's kind of a really fun little um, little opening like this, but I'm going to show you a really cool way of cutting your paper to really maximize your paper. In fact, one pack of Designer Series paper will garner you um, 72 cards because you can get six cards from every 12 by 12 sheet. There's 12 sheets, so 12 times six is 72. So it's a really economical, cool way to use your designer series paper to get a lot of awesome cards out of it. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to flip the camera down and we're going to get started. Give me just a second. So here's the catalog and the stamps that we're using 
is part of the Follow Your Art product suite, and it's called It Starts With Art. But we're only using one little thing out of it, and that's this You Paint My World With Happiness because it's just so um, nice. If, if you are into art or you know people who are into art, you know that art makes us happy. So it's a great little thing. So that's what we're going to use on the front of all of these cards. Then I'm going to go back and see if I can find that designer series paper that we're using. And it's called Sia Silhouette, coordinates with Sia Silhouette Suite. And so I'm gonna go to page 132 because the paper's really worth looking at. Here it is. Look at this, you guys. It's so bright and colorful and it's all those really cool different painting techniques, except we don't have to do them. This is for the lazy stampers. People like me that just want the look but don't want to have the mess to get the look. So this is it. And I love it and I think you're going to love it too. So let me go ahead and we're going to show you how um, all of this is going to work. So first of all, you have your 12 by 12 paper and what you're going to do is cut it into um, thirds. So just cut it 4 by 12, 4 by 12, 4 by 12. And then you're going to take those strips and you're going to cut those. So I have one here. You're going to cut that into, so each of the long strips are going to be cut into in half. So you'll have a 4 by 6 inch strip. So that's how you're going to use the designer series paper. And I'll show you how exactly we're going to cut that in a second. But let's get started first with the base of the card. So the base of the card for this particular card is going to be four and a quarter by 11 inches, and then I've scored it at five and a half. Um, so let me just show you what that looks like. It's just, it's just your basic uh, landscape fold card. So let me grab a bone folder here, have that lie flat for us. Then what you're going to do is once you have your basic landscape card, and I got another one here, because we're gonna do two giveaways on Tuesday, so I wanna be prepared. Um, you're gonna cut three and a quarter inch from the top, from the top panel, all right? So we're gonna do that with the little mini cutter, and we're just gonna put this in here, and we're gonna measure out three and one quarter. <coughs> And give that a chomp and we're going to do the same thing to the other panel measure out three and a quarter and what you'll have left are is a piece of cardstock that looks like this so you've got your little fold here then you're going to take these these little pieces and these are let me grab my little ticker sticker here hold on so remember, you cut those at three and a quarter, so they're going to be three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So you may have figured this out already, but that means that our designer series paper on the inside here is going to be three by four, because we want a nice little border on the outside. So the next step is to go ahead and take that designer series paper that I was talking to you about, where you've cut your big 12 by 12s into six pieces basically, each piece being four by six. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to do some cutting on that. So this probably isn't super visible, so I'm gonna hold it up here. But you're gonna cut it at two by four, three by four, and three fourths by four. Because the inside panel, you don't want that to just be blah, so you're gonna add a little strip on the inside just to carry the color over. So we're gonna take these and we're gonna double it up because honestly, the designer series paper, even though it's a nice sturdy designer series paper, it um, you can cut it pretty easily uh, two sheets at a time in the little mini cutter. And as you remember, the little mini cutter is what you get when you sign up as a demonstrator with Stampin' Up! during uh, celebration. So the first cut we're going to make is at the two inch mark. So we've got our one inch mark here and then we've got our two inch mark right here. So I'm just lining this up and we're gonna cut at two inches. Whoops, I forgot to take off the little sticky. So let me grab that off. 
So this is one panel that's going to go onto our card. Well, it's two panels, but we're making two cards. Then we've got this in here, and, it, and right now it's uh, four inches. So we want a little panel that's three by four. So we're going to bring it back to the three inch mark, and we're going to cut right there. So now we have our three by four inch panels. Then we've got a one inch piece left over. So you could put, you could take this and put it inside like this, and that would probably work just fine. So you wouldn't have to cut this down, but I want it to be just a teeny bit narrower. So I am going to go in here. And what's nice about this little mini cutter is that it sort of lifts up so that you can, um, get little scraps of paper in there. So I'm going to do this one at a time and we're just going to cut this at three-fourths. So there's one and then the other one at three-fourths as well. So we'll just scoot that in and give that a little cut. So I'm going to take these little tiny scraps and just throw those away. Now again, you won't even have to do that final cut. You could just leave that at one inches wide and it'd be just fine. All right, so we have all these different little uh, pieces of paper. So I'm going to remind you, in case you're just working from scrap. Hold on, I've got to gra I've got to look through my pile to find what I'm looking for. Here we go. So I did do a little prep in advance, so I can show you again what these measurements are because I know you guys like that. So you're going to want to have a pile of three by four inches. You want some that are two by four. And then you're gonna have some little strips that are three-fourths by four inches. It's a very economical use of your designer series paper. So um, I know that you like that because you often tell me how much you like that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the two by four inch strips and I think we'll just go ahead and use these right here. I'm going to move these off the table and we're going to grab those card bases that we had initially. And we're going to take these two by four inch strips and we're going to put them right here on the front panel of our card. So I need you to be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to put the inside panels into the card so you can get a better idea of what I'm doing and where I'm gluing. So these inside panels are four by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to put those on with snail. So I'm going to take my snail. You know what I should do? I should actually put these little 3 fourths by 4 inch strips on as well. And so I am going to do that. So I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to grab some snail here. And I'm going to decorate these Whisper White panels just so that we have this all done before we actually put it inside our card. All right, now, one of the handy little dandy features of having this little mini cutter on your desk is if for some reason your panel is just a tiny bit shorter, you can go in with your little mini cutter because it takes up hardly any room at all on your desk and just trim that out perfectly. I love it. All right, and then we're going to grab one of these and do the exact same thing. So put this right here onto the inside panel of your Whisper White. And again, we're just going to trim it so that everything is perfect. There we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to flip this around and we will add some snail at the top of our panels. And we're going to put this on the inside of our card. So this will go just like this. You want to make sure all four borders are even. And then when you fold this down, you have something that looks like this. So we're going to do that to the same one over here. And that looks good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take these panels, these two by four inch panels, what I was initially talking about, and we're going to, well, you could use snail or you could use glue. I've got to use snail because I have my glue in the other room. And I am going to put these panels down right here. So I'm just measuring it so that all four borders are, are nice and even. And then I'm just setting it in. 
And now we're bringing the design from the front of the card into the inside of the card. See that? Then we're going to do the same thing with this one. Add some glue. We'll flip this down and we're just going to set this in. All right, looks good. Beautiful. So now we're going to take those panels that we cut off. Remember, we cut off three fourths of an inch from the front of the panel. So we have these two basic black panels, three, four, three and one fourth by four and a quarter. And we're going to set these three by four inch panels of designer series paper over the top. So we're going to put this one to match one card. You know what, I just really feel like you can't see what I'm doing. So I'm going to grab some scrap paper here. I should have done this initially. So we're just going to um, add some snail, set the sand, and then once it's down, just burnish it down. That really helps the snail stay secure. Then we're going to do the same thing with this other panel. It's hard to even know which side to use because everything's just so pretty with this paper. And it looks like you spent a lot of time and effort <laughs> doing this, and it was all done for you. So you look very, very artsy with very, very little effort. I love that. All right, so now we've got these panels, and we're going to stick them right here onto our card. So what we're looking for is we're looking for our card to have even white borders all the way around. And basically that means this is going to be even too. So we're going to put our snail right here so we don't, because the main thing is you don't want to have snail here and then have it sticking out over on this back side. So we're just going to put it on that panel. I'm going to set this in, make sure everything looks nice and square, and then just burnish it down and it will stay for you. All right, so we're going to do the exact same thing for this card putting it down over here. And I'm putting quite a bit down because I'm going to burnish this down really well with my fingers. So now again, we're just setting this in, making sure all of our borders are nice and even, and then just burnish it down. All right, so there we go. Here's what it looks like to this point. So now it's just kind of fun decorating. So let me grab some ribbon. So the giveaway is not actually going to be ribbon on Tuesday. I am going to give away some little jewels because you may not have even noticed this, but if you hold this up really close to the camera, you can see that we have some jewels on here. So I will, I will do a half pack of the holiday rhinestones, which are still available, you guys. You just have to find them in the online store. Or contact your demonstrator, someone such as me, and I can direct you exactly to where to go. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna do a little decorating on the outside. So we need to do some stamping. So the stamping that we're going to do is on some whisper white circles that I've created with the stitched shape framelits. I use this circle size right here. And so what I like about this circle size is it coordinates perfectly with our starburst punch. So we're going to take a piece of scrap, and this is our black foil. So we're gonna take some scrap, and we're going to punch out two of these starburst uh, circles. And that's what we're going to layer our sentiments on. So let's go ahead and get those stamped. So I have some real red ink. You could also use basic black. So I was kind of playing with it. I have it in both. Here's one that I did in basic black, which looks great. I love it. And then I did another one in real red. I really couldn't decide which one I liked the best. I think they both look good. So we're just going to go with real wet, real red. I can't even talk this morning, but I love it. I think it looks great. So I've got the real red ink pad here and we're just going to stamp this. And you guys, one of the most genius things about circles is you don't have to stamp it straight because it's a circle. So you can move it to whatever direction you want to move it once it's been stamped. So there it is. You paint my world with happiness. Such a bright and cheerful saying for such a bright and cheerful card. There we go. 
we're going to give that a little bit of time to dry because you don't want to work with your ink too quickly. So in the meantime, while we're waiting for this to dry a little bit, we are going to take our, um, what is this called? It's our real red, it's our real red cotton ribbon. And I've already pre-cut some pieces. So they look like this. And I would say they're probably about four and a half inches long, each one of them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put them onto the back of our uh, star, star panel punch out here. All right, so that looks pretty good to me, looks fairly even. Then I'm gonna cheat here and just use some tape and tape that on. I love tape. Anybody who's watched any of my videos knows that I use tape all the time. Whoops, there we go. And just because I'm such a perfectionist, I am going to use a lot of tape. That way I know for sure it's not going anywhere. So there we have, there we have our beautiful um, accentuant, accentuated glossy black starburst punch out. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing with this one. Just gonna put those in so it looks really cute like that and then we're gonna tape it down. Everybody's loving the beautiful cards. Thank you so much, you guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you for showing your support. One way to show your support to me is, of course, by sharing this video on your timeline or in a group um, with your family or friends. And another way is by placing orders with me. I always love it when I'm able to, you know, make new friends, new customers. It's always great. So I appreciate it so much. All right, so then what we're going to do is we're going to take these. They should be dry now, and we're just going to add some snail. And I think we're going to set these on last, the very last thing that we do. So I think actually what I'm going to do is put some dimensionals on here. Oh, my gosh. So I'm so busy working for Spring Fling in the other room. I don't even have my, my regular dimensionals here. So we're going to have to use mini dimensionals, which are great. They're just tiny. And I will put four of them on each circle. Oh, why not? I might even put five on. What the heck? One in the middle, too. So this may take a little bit longer because I'm using such tiny ones. Normally with the larger ones, if I'm doing a circle, I usually only put like oh, three or four on. But here we're gonna use five because they're so little. We wanna give this plenty of support. All right, so now we're gonna take the dimensionals off. So I've got my little waste basket here ready to go. You guys, you know these little in-color clips are still available in the clearance rack. Don't miss your opportunity to get them. They make me so happy every time I see them. I put them all around my little tiny waste basket here, which is like a brie cheese leftover piece. But it's tiny and it works great on my desk. All right, so we're almost done taking all the little peelies off. Then we're just gonna put it on our card. Yes, I love these colors too. What were these colors? This one, they're still available, but they are discontinuing. Oh, I think the last time we'll be able to order them will be like June 2nd or something, right before the new catalog goes live. So if you need re-inkers in these colors, you guys, do it now. Get your re-inkers now because the minute they retire these, the re-inkers go like overnight. So let me just go over these colors. I think we, are we missing one? We are, we're missing a green one. Oh, right here on my dimensionals. So this is Call Me Clover. This one's Lovely Lipstick, this one's Blueberry Bushel, Grapefruit Grove, and Pineapple Punch. So write those down, check your ink pads, make sure you have your re-inkers because it's super, super important to get those re-inkers before Stampin' Up! announces and retiring. All right, so we're gonna move that out of the way. And then we're gonna put this on so that our ribbon kind of goes at an angle, just like that. I'm gonna do the same thing to this other card. 
just like this. So cute. So cute. I just love it. Then we're going to take the sentiment punch out that we did, or the stamp sentiment. We'll set that on so that it's right there. And do the same thing to the other card. See how quick and easy these cards are? I challenge you to make some of these this weekend. And then pop them in the mail to a good friend. And I think they will love it. All right, so if you're happy with it, you can go ahead and, and uh, send these out. But, of course, I'm not totally happy. I've got to I've gotta trim up my ribbon here, just a tinge. There we go. We'll do the same thing over here. I don't want it falling off the edge of my card. There, how cute is that? Perfect. Okay, let's do the same thing then to the other one. I think it's easier to go at this angle. So that one looks good. It's just this one that needs to be trimmed up. There we go. Whoops, that one needs to be more angled. There we go. Perfect. I love it. So here are the two cards, and I will mail these out on probably Wednesday. You have 48 hours once you find out you're a winner to get in touch with me and let me know what your address is. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Remember, it's celebration, so... Every $50 or $100 product increment on your order from Stampin' Up, you get something free. Don't forget, it's also coordination. So that means there's there's uh, dies out there that coordinate with some of the celebration items and some of the January through June mini catalog items. So don't miss your opportunity to get those while they're still available. You guys have a wonderful weekend. And as I mentioned, I won't do a Facebook Live on Tuesday. So my next one will be a week from today. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.